on the residential front, it is a hot, hot, hot market. What's 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 happening right now, and what are you seeing around the country? Thanks, Becky. You know, I think as you said, it's a it's a hot market both on the for sale housing side and the rental housing side. And you know, part of this has been there's been two decades of undersupply, right? If you look at the statistics, we've undersupplied probably you know by over 600,000 units. It would probably uh, developers would have to increase inventory per year by 60 percent just to catch up on housing. So we have went into this with a supply crisis. And now as the market has rebounded, that's only made things worse. So we've seen, a, you know, big pushes in prices on the for sale side. On the rental side, you know, like the general economy, when things got bad, people pulled back. Uh, rents came down in New York City, as an example. We saw occupancy go down to 80 uh, percent. But now they're surging back. And, uh, you know, occupancies are back up to 98 percent. In the last year, you've seen rents in New York City increase 35 uh, percent, and that's similar in places in the, around the country, in the Sun Belt in particular, places like Phoenix or Tampa or Rally, you've seen, again, rents in, in those levels. So you've had a big surge in rent, and some of that is, you know, driven by this big, you know, economic V-shaped recovery, but a lot of it's also the fact that there's been a, a, a lack of supply and we're behind the curve on providing the affordable housing that we need uh, around the country. So if mortgage rates start to go up, is that going to have much impact at all on the frenzy and the bidding wars that are out there? Or is that just something that can't be fixed because of the inventory problems? Yeah, I think the, you know, there's, there's, if mortgage rates go up, you're still going to have the supply constraint, right? Because as inflation prices have gone up, materials have gone up, labor costs have gone up. So it's harder to actually create more supply in that marketplace. So I think you're going to still be in a period where there is a tight labor market. And I think, you know, raising interest rates uh, as we've seen this economic recovery and trying to cool down uh, what's happening uh, right now in terms of, of, of price surges, uh, I think is, is a healthy thing. Uh, it's going to take time, uh, but it's something that we need to do or we're going to have a harder fall on the other side. What about the commercial market right now? Um, that was hit pretty hard by the pandemic. Has that bounced back the same? Because when we look at um, occupancy rates or the level of white collar workers coming back to some of the major cities, it's still incredibly low. Yeah, Becky, two years ago today, I left this office and closed it down, um, you know, as we all were facing the uh, pandemic. We came back in, in June. Our occupancy and our 25 million square feet of space uh, went down as low as 4 percent, began to wow. climb as high as 10 percent. Um, we're now every week hitting a new level of high. We're now in the mid 30 percent. And talking to our clients, I think, you know, by uh, this summer, we'll be at the 80 percent level uh, of occupancy. I think people are bringing back uh, their teams. They, they realize how important it is for that personal interaction. Uh, it may not be, obviously, five days a week. It's probably a hybrid work uh, week where it's three to four days a week in the office uh, and then uh, one to two days working remotely. Uh, but that's what's happening. And then you've seen companies, uh, you know, actively in the market taking more space. Just this week, IBM took another 300 plus thousand square feet of new space um, in, uh, in lower Manhattan and one Madison, a, a property that's being redeveloped. We signed leases with Roku for 250,000 feet, Chubb for 250,000 feet, Google's buying buildings. So people are, are, are taking space because they're planning on bringing their teams back. Uh, it's going to be a different work environment than there was pre-pandemic, but they realize it's critical to have those social interactions to uh, continue to have the, the culture building, the productivity. You know, you can work uh, at home and play defense. You can't play offense. And companies now need to play offense.